Hello, hello, I am back again. Today I'm going to be answering a very another popular question that I get kind of often, especially from newer Lolitas, and that is always about Lolita on eBay. So I get a lot of private messages and sometimes emails asking about Lolita, and I fear I don't need your cooperation right now, thank you. And uh, they'll send me pictures of dresses and stuff, be like, hey, is this Lolita? Is this right? I found this on eBay. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Unless you are an experienced Lolita and you know exactly what to look for, don't search eBay for Lolita. <laughs> go to Lace Market, like I talked about in my previous video. Don't go to eBay. Just, just don't. Usually if you type in Lolita, it doesn't matter if you type in Japanese or fashion or dress or whatever, Night Fury is such a needy cat. You are going to find other things besides the Lolita fashion that you're looking for. Most of it's just going to be fetish. Uh, so I have personally only bought two items besides like stockings or cute little lacy socks. Um, off of eBay for use in Lolita. Mainly I just find like stockings if I can't find a certain pair that I'm looking for for a certain look then I can find some really really cute you know stockings and types and whatnot on eBay. I know way back when I first started and that was many 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 years ago I was looking on eBay and it's just, just no and every once in a while I will hop on there and uh, search for things because every once in a great while you will find some person on there who is trying to sell an actual Lolita dress. But then that also comes to mind, like, is it a replica? And they're trying to say that it's brand and selling it for brand prices. Because I've seen angelic pretty dresses on there for around $400, $300. And just because it's on eBay and it's not from somewhere else that you know is a bit more trusted, I leave well enough alone. I usually, if I'm going to buy second hand, it's either from someone in person or it's going to be off of lace market. So then what are the two items that I did get that were not stockings? Um, two blouses. This one I bought a couple years ago. They are just off-brand uh, Chinese brand uh, blouses. This one's very, very cute and this is the first one I bought off of there. I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to take a chance. The pictures look really, really cute. And I very much like it. It's not itchy at all. And that's the thing about certain lace and blouses and stuff is sometimes it can be really itchy. Definitely, definitely not itchy at all. Really, really love this. I've given the link to this specific blouse because it still sells to this day on eBay. I've given it to lots of people. And I really, really like it. Um, it was around 20 or so dollars. And it's lasted me a long time. It hasn't had any yellowing on it at all. It's very cute lace up in the back. The only thing that does look slightly cheap on it is the buttons. Um, they're just really plain kind of plastic little buttons on there. But you could change them out if you really wanted to. I'm not going to bother with it. I don't really care. But this one's really cute. I like how the bottom is hemmed. It looks great with skirts. So... This one I really, really like. Now, the other one I got more recently during the holiday time, and I don't think the sizing's quite as accurate as this one was because when I got this one, this one's a little bit too big, but that's okay because I intended for this one to be worn under JSK's anyways and not as just a blouse for a skirt that you're going to see everything too. So this is the other one that I got. Same kind of look. This one is a uh, thinner material. This one over here is much thicker. You can't see through it as much, um, but definitely you you know would want to wear a white bra underneath it if you wore it by itself. So this one also very cute lace detailing. I like it very much. I like the bell sleeves going on there. This one doesn't have anything too much going on in the back, um, but like I said, when I put this one on, it is a little too big for me. I would get definitely the size smaller, um, but. I think maybe they sent me the wrong size. I'm not sure. I did contact the seller. They were willing to work with me, but I didn't get back to them in a timely manner because I bought it during the holidays and it was just really chaotic at the time. So uh, this one's really cute. It still has like the little tag on the inside. Um, this one is in Chinese, so I'm not even going to try to attempt it, but the tag is really cute. If you, ah, can you get it there? If you 
can by chance see that or uh, read it at all or something, that's that on there. Um, I will go ahead and put the links for both of these shirts down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. Um, but like I said, for the most part, just stay away from Lolita on eBay because, and I'm going to just say it, most of the dresses on there are very, very Ita. They look very cheap. They look very crappy. Just, just don't. And a lot of places on there will say cosplay and Lolita in the same name. That's a whole other thing I'm going to be talking about. If it says cosplay, stay away from it. Don't get into it. I'm going to do a whole other little video about how Lolita is not cosplay, cosplay is not Lolita. Those two things just, no, 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 no. But there are certain exceptions uh, to the rule. So stay away from Lolita on eBay. Don't do it. You can get very lucky sometimes with just certain blouses. But otherwise, everything else that I've seen out there just does not look good. <laughs> so there is my lesson for today. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and type them in down below. Share this video with someone if you know a Lolita who is trying to look at eBay for Lolita. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. May the force be with you.